Hello there, welcome back to some more Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we reached Lookout Landing after a little while, but things have gotten all spooky. Um, people aren't around, they're, they're messing about. I had to find a well, because the well inspector is here, inspecting wells. And I wish to also enjoy that. Where does this lead? That leads to a grate and a chest. Okay. This is probably an early game chest, so I'm not going to hold my breath too much for anything good. Oh, I've got a Royal Claymore, though. That's not bad. I shouldn't be so judgy. It seemed alright. Okay. What we got here, then? Hey, it's you. I'm fascinated by the many old wells across Hyrule. The new world's pretty interesting too, like this one. Have you come to tell me about the location of more wells you found? Yep, got more for you. It's good about it, it's good about it. Thanks, so 25 of them this time. I'll give you 10 rupees each location. That's 250 total, all yours. Thanks for sharing. I'm starting to go visit all these wells. Let's see, how many left across Hyrule? Oh, there's still a total of 31 to find. It'll be hard to find old hidden wells when there's some sort of tool for searching for things. Let's check again if you find more well locations. Oh, there's no way I can take a picture of a well and find it. Oh yeah, there is. Because well is a thing I can search for. Ah. You simple-minded fools. Okay. Um, right. I'm going to get that tablet thing now. I think there's something else I wanted to do in Lookout Landing as well. But oh well. It don't matter. It'll come back to me or it won't. It's fine. Geoglyph is over this side. Yeah. There's the core rock over there. Here's the bubble, bubble of water. Let's investigate. Bingy bong. It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That said, I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes, whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it. So you really believe my story? That I came from the future? I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru, do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. And Sonia, she can control time. 
As for you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means, if you don't already know how to get yourself home... <sighs> there are stories about the secret stones and a forbidden act called draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon. One blessed with eternal life. <gasps> Interesting. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. I thought maybe this could lead to a solution, some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you, you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. <laughs> Back where we started. There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. I'm sure Sonya would be happy to help you. <sighs> okay. Yeah, but she dead. She dead as fuck. Mineru seems like an interesting character. There's only like goat people, but they look like they can be different animals. Because Minero kind of look more Minero kind of look more like a cat ish, rather than a goat. Raru's definitely like a goat man, but and Sonya is like definitely humanoid. Bye. Okay, I mean humanoid. They're all humanoids, but, like, she's much more human than animal. Okay. I would like to explore Death Mountain a little bit more. Just a little bit, though. We've got some ponds. We've got some other things to check out. This is where Lightroot is, for certain. Basically, I'm just going, where have I not been? I haven't been around up here. Around all this nonsense. And I haven't been up here. And I've kind of not really gone around the circle of Death Mountain, although I don't really need to necessarily. Um, but yeah, from Death Mountain is probably the best place to go from because you can just jump off. It's a high up place that's close to where I want to go. So it's a pretty good bet as a starting block. I'm making big hearty radishes in the fields, by the way, because that's another way to get full health recovery and lots of other things that are good. Just have a look at the different lakes and stuff. I do like the fact that there's rails and everything everywhere. It does make it seem more like a working mine, which is good.
Remember that if it looks like there's nothing around, it's probably a Korok place, but... I thought there might be a regular old fire one. There was a Meteo one that I found, but... Never a normal fire one. I also think to myself like that, that just saves me a hundred rupees. I missed. Take this ruby sword and I'll use it until it breaks. Like I said, I didn't make any promises to finish all the side quests. Um, Especially the ones where it's like, just give me three diamonds and I'll make you a weapon. I'm not, I'm not that bothered, to be honest. But shrines, definitely. That's a no-goer. Non-negotiable. Nice. Bit sapphire, bit of amber. That's a silver boss. One I don't have to fuck with necessarily. In fact, one I'm not going to fuck with. I just outright refuse. That's the wonderful thing about this. I don't have to do anything. I've got nothing to prove. Bye. I have to go back to Robbie in Hateno and give him the thingy bob medallion, don't I? That's something I can do. Do 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 do. Okay, so I'm thinking go towards this tower over here. I'm obviously not going to make it all the way, or even close really, but... Just want to have a little look go around. This time, both the horizontal and the vertical distance will be the problem. I haven't got enough of either. What's that? That's the, uh, I think that's the miners. I see a smokestack and think shine or um, stable, but no, not necessarily. in the next zone, but it's where I want to be. I'm trying to make it to this rock so I can jump from there to the next one. I think this is a uh, Satori tree. They do stand out, which is good. Yeah. 
for this. There's another one of them. So I need to find some Aldean caves. I'll come here and do that. I'll well, jump off from up here, I think. I'm never going to make it all the way, but I can make it close. This used to be where like the core forest and that was, but I think the mountain erupting has like turned it all into rock. Or a lot of it has become rock. Two geoglyphs, one episode. Fuck it, why not? I'll do what I want. You can't stop me. If I had an editor, they'd be like, no, Joey, please. I need these for the thumbnails. He managed to restrain him somehow. Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. Just a sword. You're telling me that Link is safe? You traveled through time to find me and recover your strength. <gasps> Zelda, I believe there is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. It's a pretty big one just to be hidden on the top of a mountain. I know why I am here. It's something only I can do. We will finally stop him. <laughs> to become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. Forever changed. Link, you must find me. Okay.
Is that Zelda? Dragon's Tears. You visited all 11 geoglyphs, witnessed all the memories of the Dragon's Tears. Afterwards, a light dragon appeared above you and shed a new tear. The tear seems to have fallen to the Vist Peninsula in the Akala region. I found them all. Apparently, I did. So, I'm missing some because they're probably the story related ones, but I've found all the ones here. Okay, right. Well, I'll do that, but I need to activate this tower first. Then I'll go to that shrine. Is this the what's left of the... Maybe I'm getting all confused, but I thought like this was what, the Korok Forest. Is this not? Maybe it's actually much closer, like here. But I thought like this whole thing was forested. Maybe I'm just a twat. It wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, I feel like the, the thing of Upted in has like caused this to put, all become rocks. Typhlo ruins. That's like the extension of a light route, forcing itself out of the ground. No, it's not. It's a camp. I'm an idiot. Hey, over here. Hello. Hello, my brother in research. I was waiting for you. You were? That's right. I'm the one who discovered these big ruins way out here, but I wasn't able to make much progress investigating them. I'm only one hillion, and this, alas, is not a one hillion job. I tried to work the Zonai survey team, asking them to dispatch the research to assist me, and here you are, practically right after I sent my letter. Great response time. It's going to be What? You're not a Zonai survey team researcher, you're just some guy. I see. So a few people come through here. I assumed you had to be the assistant I asked for. My mistake. After all the trouble I've gone to, can't the same one assistant to have own monolith research? Monolith research? Oops, did you hear, hear all that? Sorry, scrub that from your brain. It's not meant to be public knowledge. If you're from the Zonai survey team, I can tell you all about what I've discovered so far, but you're not. So, let me help. It's going it's to be bad. Hmm, I appreciate the offer, but that's really not allowed. Then again, though he may not be a researcher, he does have the look of an adventurer about him. Maybe his expertise will get things back on track. Ah. You know what? You're hired for this project alone, and I'm appointing you as my research assistant. Come on, let's find out what secrets these ruins are hiding. Okay. Oh. By the way, we could dive right in. I'll stop showing what my research has uncovered so far. Wait there. Ugh. Mm. Take a look. I think you'd be pretty surprised by this discovery. But to display the power of the Sage of Wind to the Owl protected by many dragons. Yeah. Eh? Eh? Aren't you surprised? Yeah, wow! Mm. Right, right. Ah. The Zonai are an ancient civilization with their own system of writing. Also, no one, almost no one living today can read Zonai script. But you can read the inscription on the monolith, right? That's because it's written in Hyrulean. Mm. These ruins appear to be Zonai in origin. They feature text written in, written in modern Hyrulean. How can that be? Who built these ruins and for what purpose? Oh. It's just a possibility, but the monoliths that were found might be pointing to a spot somewhere in the ruins. You and me were going to get to the bottom of this. We need to find that spot. There we might find another monolith that tells us why these ruins are built. Uh -huh. It's just a hunch, but it's also your boss's hunch. So, they are protected by dragons. Display the power of the Sage of Fire to blaze through the space between two dragons from head to tail. Hmm. Two dragons. That description reminds us when they saw when first arrived at these ruins. Display the power of the Sage of Water in the presence of the six dragons. There's a small ring of dragon head statues somewhere, wasn't there? Ominous place. Where was that again? I'm going to do all of them. I've got all the powers, so I guess this is what I'm doing today. Display the power of the Sage of Lightning at the end of the long dragon that protects the Mountain of Death. And there's a lot of dragon statues looking up with a long body, sounds like. What's that Mountain of Death part? That's troubling. Oh, you mean Death Mountain. The Mountain. Called Death Mountain. The Mountain of Death. That Death. That mountain. Death Mountain. Fucking idiot. Typhlo <laughs> ruined Skyview Tower. Sorry. I'm being needlessly aggressive. Hey, is that you? You're about late tonight. So the Skyview Tower's out of order and maintenance is pretty tricky. What's wrong? Oh. Well, the terminal starts with the Cyber Tower isn't working. Check for the terminal's parts, but nothing looks broken. Oh. I wonder if something to do with the tower itself is broken. Maybe. I'll have a look. 
I really would like to get this map done, so. Something about the tower itself might be broken. Climb on. Then this bit climbs up here. What's wrong? Ah. The lid couldn't open. It's blocked. <laughs> Less of that. Dumb fuck. Okay, good. <laughs> the terminal's working again, even though I didn't do anything. It's gonna be a bit bad. Huh? There's something blocking the top of the Skyview Tower. Hmm, the terminal lid on top of the tower connected. So if the lid wouldn't work because it's blocked, I guess the terminal wouldn't work either. Well, I'm in a hurry and everything seems to be working properly, so I'll head out. Thank you for fixing the Skyview Tower. I'm off. Bye, mate. Right, let's open this last one up. Whee! The owl protected by dragons. Let's give it to Bob. There's the forest. That's the Korvok Woods. Service map complete. This thing isn't. Sky map complete. Thank you. Now I've got to do the underground map complete and I'll be happy. For once in my miserable life. I'm not fucking about. I'm going straight back down. Put that thing back where it came from, also help me. So help me. Got random shooting stuff. There are lots of constructs just chilling about. Stay still. No. Be gone. Nice. A gnarled, gnarled thick stick. Owl protected by dragons. I'm just going to clear this place out because it's going to be a lot of things like this. Hey. To 
this whole thing is the ruins, isn't it? Everything within this little ring of water. Now, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think it's going to tell me anywhere. Two, three, four, five, six. So what's the six dragons? Spoke out the of water in the presence of the six dragons. Well, I kind of did, but maybe that's not what they mean. Well, it's not where they mean. I mean. Did I not come here? Maybe I came with somewhere very similar. I'm not sure whether the game will be more explicit or will require me to implicitly gauge where to do stuff. For example, is like I could shoot Yonobo off of this. But why? Korok here. It's not what I'm looking for, but it is a thing. Bash. Bye bye. Oi, dickhead. Now I'm always bad at spears, but this time I got you. Be gone. Fucking got ye. Okay. You're dead. Next. And I'm doing all this because, uh, you know, before the Blood Moon, I can just clear this whole place out and then just search it at my heart's content. It says, display the power of the Sage of Wind. Right. Okay, so this is what we're supposed to do. I understand. Sapphire times three, okay. That's the owl protected by dragons. Face me. Don't mind if it breaks. Because I'm going to kill them with their own weapons, but... Okay. 
Death Mountain's this way. So I'm thinking the dragon that protects the Mountain of Death will be around here somewhere. Oh. Fantastic. Bloody Korok. I'll deal with you later. I've got other shit to do at the minute. Don't let me forget. Jury. There's that Korok, remember? Oh, shit. End of the long dragon that protects the mountain of death. I don't know whether it means the head or the tail, but... until it gets to the end. Yeah, right. Bijou? Come Wonderful news. Three topaz. I've done the long dragon. Okay, then the other two, I also know where they are, I believe. The corridor between two dragons could be multiple places, but I think there was one that specifically fits the bill in a different location than this. But the six dragons is definitely over here. Yep. Now, displaying the power of water, though, I'm not sure what they mean. Could have been one, but I don't think it is. Six dragons are here. But the thing is here. As you can do it. And 
less. He wants me to hit the thing from here. Or if it wants me to get hit by an Octorok and use my shield here. Quite sure I understand this one then. The other one though I do get. From head to tail of the of oh, is it from head to tail, from tail to head? Head to tail, right? Yeah. Here's the corridor between two things. Here's both their heads. If I just launch a fucking fireball down it. Three, thank you. So what's this then? Is it actually, first of all, are these actually six? Am I not counting them right? <laughs> but I had to do a charged attack. A regular one wouldn't do. Why? I don't know. There we go. Sometimes the game do be weird like that. Bingy bong bong. Opal times five. And with that, I've sold all of the things. Which leads down underneath. Interesting. Well, I'm going to keep going. Again, I, I, I know I've gone over every every episode I've recorded today. I've gone over the time. But I'm going to keep going because I am interested in finding out what exactly the secrets are in the ruins. And then I've got to go get the Master Sword, I'm guessing. But that can be another time. <laughs> Then I can use that as a fighting force to go and kill Lynels and things. Huh? Claymore. Slender Claymore thought to have been handed down by the Higgins of Home World ages ago. The blade shines with a holy luster. That is Zelda's sword from the Twilight Princess. At least I think so. 32 attack power just outright. That's pretty good. Hey, hello, are you there? Hello. Is this what we were waiting for? <laughs> this is what was waiting for us beneath the ruins. Wait, you found another monolith? If it was hidden away down here, there's almost certainly something important written upon it. Oh, my heart's panicked. Shall we read it? Dare we? We dare. Here, allow me. <clears throat> A monument to loyalty. Hyrule owes its peace today to the gift that King Varu gave unto us in his noble feat of imprisoning the Demon King. Wait. 
King Varu imprisoning the Demon King. Varu is in any legend is the first king of Hyrule. In this mention of imprisoning the Demon King, this one is no doubt a chronicle of the imprisoning war. My heart won't stop pounding. Let's read on. <clears throat> the great battle ended with the seal, began with support from the sages, each of whom bore a shining secret stone. Among these were four Hyrulians, loyal warriors all, who hastened to King Roy's aid as their oaths demanded. They are the pride of the peoples of Hyrule. Their stone on is dedicated to the loyalty they echo through time. I see. In other words, this rune is dedicated to the sages who fought with Varu, the first king of Hyrule. It was built by Hylians afterward. That explains why there was Hyrulean text on the monoliths we found. What a discovery. I'm astonished to find so profound a secret hidden in these long buried ruins, so full of mystery. I'll stay here for now to analyse what's written on this monolith. Once my heart rate returns to normal, I'll swing by the survey team base in Kakariko and take my phones at turn on my phone into a book. Can't wait to see the looks on their faces. Ha <laughs> ha, this is going to be great. Oh, whoops, I completely forgot to give you a reward. I never mm. could have solved the mysteries of these ruins without me, my assistant. You have my thanks. Thank you. Please take this. A big battery. And this too is a bonus. And a diamond. Well, that's, that's now we're talking. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see these some ruins. You must also be as fanatical about Zonai history as I am. So please enjoy the Zonai artifacts I discovered a minute ago to remind you of our time working together. Oh. Now fear not, since I'm sticking around for a while, you can come back to if ever you'd like to talk about ruins and relics. In the meantime, happy trails. Goodbye, my trusty assistant. Bye bye. Now there's a shrine over here somewhere. Sorry, it's going to be sound a bit weird because the fan and everything, but I realised that I forgot to do the core lock and people are going to kick off if I don't do it, so I'm going to just do it now while I remember. Uh, and I'll be quiet for the rest of the video because this is just a little addendum. I'm, I'm sort of slicing into the end of the last episode. So I will see you in a second when I deliver it. I will fast forward as soon as I spoke to the core lock, and then I will cut out and I won't make any mention of it, which is why you might be a bit concerned as to what's going on. It's just because I'm doing this in the future times. Where have I got to go? Only across the way, okay. <clears throat> no problem. Right. See you in a second when I do this. There we go. Right. Okay. See you in a second again when we go back to the regular video. Game was eager to show me. Damn you. It's sort of like mud, it gets you stuck. Over time you sort of drown, but not straight away. That's better. That's much better. Don't need to fight Captain 4 right now. Yes, yes, I know. This Satori will help me find it. I'm sure of that. I will go to that in a second. 
just in case I can find it just by walking around. I might be able to see it. It's not likely. It is me we're talking about, but I could. What's that? That's where the light route is. Well, of course, there's a shrine there. Durr. Durr. Okay, right. So, because I've got uh, stuff to do, I'm going to call it here. First, I'm going to go to the Satori and try and find the mountain caves. Then I'm going to go to the other shrines I've seen. The two that I know of that I can get to straight away, I'll go to. Then I'll find the other one. Then I'll keep going, because I've got 47 left to get. Alright. See you guys next time when we explore this northern region. Try and get a Master Sword, maybe? Maybe? Yes. See you then. Goodbye.